Hi YouTube, welcome to another exciting edition of Driving Up Stocks. Uh, this is covering the Robin Hood Challenge, Investing Challenge, um, episode 18. A very observant viewer noticed on uh, my last video that I said 16, which would have made two 16s in a row. So, uh, apparently that was a good omen though, that little flub, uh, because we had an amazing week. Um, we were up about $7 on the week, so we finished the week off at about $167 in our portfolio. Um, on top of that, I want to give a special thank you to Irma and Sarah. Uh, they are the two most recent uh, to use my Robinhood referral link, which is always down in the description if you're interested in uh, signing up for Robinhood. Uh, they both signed up on Friday, uh, so I ended up getting uh, one share of Plug Power, which, um, as I mentioned, my, I think in my last video, we had just gotten uh, one of those on a referral um, right before that. Um, and then, an, uh, what was the other one? Amnial Pharmaceuticals. I know absolutely nothing about Amnial Pharmaceuticals. Um, Plug Power, I had mentioned in a previous video that that was one that was on my watch list, but uh, I never had the right buy-in point for it. I never, it was never right where I wanted it to be uh, to buy in, which uh, now I got two free shares of that at a really good time because that's, that stock has really spiked. It's up over $4 a share. Um, although on one of the sites that I follow, it uh, mainly revolves around um, Robin Hood trades. Um, they are a couple people. They're not experts, obviously, but they're like, I haven't found the article yet, haven't really looked for it much, supposedly it's out there, um, but they're saying uh, run like crazy from plug, it's going to drop over a dollar here in the next couple weeks, um, and probably stay down for a while, I don't know, but uh, it looked like that might have been true, um, first thing this morning when the markets opened it dropped down below four, but it's back up over there now. Um, again, Amnial Pharmaceuticals, don't really know anything about that one. Um, I can tell you um, it has gone up. I haven't really got to read into it. Not really one I'm interested in. Interested in. Um, I've got basically I got enough stocks I'm juggling right now. I do work a full time job, um, so I only have so much time in the day to try to follow the news and the trends on the you know 11 or 12 stocks that I have in my portfolio now. So to try to add something that I'm really going to have to research because I know nothing about it. Um, I'll probably just wait that one out, see how high it goes up, and, and bail on that one. Um, I do want to give a special mention, uh, just basically a second thank you to Sarah. Uh, your sign-up um, actually got me a second bonus stock. Uh, for those of you not aware, Robinhood has a promotion going on right now. Uh, I believe it's until the end of this year, where for every three people that sign three covered up on my steering wheel for every three people that sign up using your referral link you'll get an additional stock um, free so basically that for every three you get you'll get a four stock uh, so I got as my bonus stock I got Cor Corbis I think it is Corbis pharmaceuticals again not one that I know anything about um, but kind of the same deal um, that was one that the next day I've traded because I got those Friday, Monday morning, the markets open and that one started going up quite significantly. So that's, again, another one um, that I'll just ride out until it starts to dip on us. If it does dip, hopefully it doesn't. And in that case, maybe we'll hang on to it for a while. But uh, the plan is to sell out of those two stocks. Um, one of them, I can't remember off the top of my head which one is which, but one of them's a penny stock, but it's a high penny stock. It's up around $5 a share. Um, and the other one um, is closing in on uh, seven, I think it is. I think it's at six something right now. Uh, but decent stocks. Again, uh, Plug, Corbis, and Amnial. So thank you to Irma and Sarah again. Uh, you know, again, we were up about $7. So that's where we closed the week. Starting Monday, uh, it's been a very good start to the week. Um, had a lot of red here and there, but overall it's been a green week. We, uh, with the three uh, referral app or referral stocks that I got that started us off Monday morning at about $183, I think it was, um, is where we opened Monday morning and, and we've been going up from them. So I'm actually really excited to see where we're at as long as the trends hold. Uh, to see where we're at with our midweek update uh, here later in the week. Um, I did say next time uh, we got together, 
that we would talk goals. Um, one of my goals, actually, um, we're getting closer to. Uh, we still got a long way to go. But again, you know, I mentioned before that, like, I am absolutely elated. I never thought I'd get a single subscriber. Uh, then all of a sudden I hit 10 subscribers. I'm up to, as of the time of this video, I'm up to 18 subscribers. So thank you all so much. Uh, those of you just, you know, coming in for the first time or have watched a couple of these, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I really do appreciate that. I mean, it's, I mean, uh, I'm a pretty stoic guy, so I probably don't look that excited. But wow, I never thought this was going to happen. My freaking kids are excited. Um, so one of my goals there is uh, I would like to hit 100 subscribers. Um, I mentioned a while back a goal that I had is to get my portfolio up to $500. Um, I think I set that target at one of my kids' birthdays is in March. So by the middle of March, I'd like to, to be around that $500 mark. Uh, it's a pretty aggressive goal at this point because I, I say we're a slow, a very slow growing. We're on a real tight budget. That was the whole purpose of starting these videos is to show that someone with like almost literal pennies to start with um, can succeed and, and really grow into something big if you just stick with it, do your research. Uh, every once in a while you gotta beg for some people to sign up, use my referral link. Um, but it does pay off. You get you know a few little bonus stocks here and there if somebody actually uses your referral link. Um, but yeah, would like to get up to 500, would like to get up to 100 subscribers. Uh, those are the two main goals, um, kind of one of my secondary goals. Uh, currently, I, you know, I'm, I'm, as I've mentioned many times before, transitioning into more of a dividend focus. Um, currently, I don't have a dividend that, that gets paid out every month. I have X dividend dates, which is the date you have to own the stock on um, in order to get paid out the stock. I do have X dividend dates all 12 months, but I don't actually have them any stocks that pay out every single or where I have a payout every month basically I believe uh, when I started putting information together for my dividend video um, February and November are the only I believe the only two months I don't get paid a dividend um, so I would like to kind of get to where I get a dividend every month and then once I get that dividend every month my secondary goal to that is I want to build it up uh, build up my positions to where uh, I'm saying oh uh, a lot in this video I apologize to where I'm actually getting paid out at least ten dollars a month because currently kind of what I do is I put in with the exception of last month I put in ten dollars a month to kind of go towards these dividend stocks or uh, swing trade stocks to kind of help build the account uh, but my you know overall target is is to basically have my dividends pay that for me I still want to put my own ten dollars in but I would also like to get to the point where uh, the dividends alone um, are putting in an additional ten months so I'm basically doubling my investment uh, my reinvestment I should say uh, each month so those are the main goals uh, that I have right now. Um, if I do come up with any other goals or anything, um, I will let you know. Um, update on a couple of stocks. Uh, we've talked about AMC. Uh, that one bottomed out about 644. It's on the way back up. Honestly, I've kind of, uh, you know, I wanted to get to where I, I looked for another dividend stock, specifically one that's going to pay me out in like February. November, but honestly, AMC is in such a good buy-in point. I really want to just throw a few bucks at that one uh, before it gets back up over seven dollars and um, get another um, position into my uh, my shares there, share into my position of AMC. Uh, Cosmos Energy, our little inter our, our little energy stock that could. Um, that one's actually had a really nice rebound. Um, it kind of ebbs and flows throughout the day. It'll it'll go up pre-market about ten cents. Then when the market opens, it'll drop down about eight cents, and then it goes up a nickel here and there. And it usually gains about four or five cents a day. Uh, so hopefully we get up to a break even or a profitable. Uh, again, hanging on to that one, holding out hope that I'll get 
you know, to a, a profitable point with that one. Uh, the analysts are still saying on uh, Cosmos Energy that by the end of the quarter, it'll be up over $7 a share again, which is where I would make a profit on that one that I can get out of that position. Again, it wasn't anything I ever intended to hold long term like this. Um, but because it took an overnight dip, like heartbreaking, almost $2 a share dip, and I had four shares, uh, that is one that I did decide I got to hang on to for a little bit and uh, see how that turns out, see if that one recovers. So hopefully we get our money back on that one. Uh, so I guess uh, with that being said, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what your goals for this year are. Um, any uh, content ideas, again, if you're interested in signing up for Robinhood, I always have my link in the description. If you don't use my link, please use someone else's. Uh, that way we, you know, everybody gets to take advantage of those, uh, those free shares. Um, but thank you. It's, it's been a, a great end of the week, and it looks like a really good start to the week. And hopefully when we do our next update, uh, still got that positive news to uh, throw out there to you. Uh, again, anything you, you want to know, any questions you have, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you will hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, uh, you haven't got all your friends and family to subscribe, tell them to jump on over to the Chef Icons page, and uh, that way they can help us drive up the stocks. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week, and thank you all so much.